Now, from this video, we will start something about the new electrical circuit which is called attenuator. In the previous videos, we studied electrical circuits as resonance circuits, electrical circuits as filter circuits and here electrical circuit as a attenuator. What was there in the resonance circuit? RLC combination across a variable AC source was there. What was there in the filter? Only combination of L and C. Now what is there in the attenuator circuit is it is only a combination of different resistors that is all. It is only a combination of different resistors. So how do we define attenuator? First sentence is attenuator is a resistive network or resistive circuit means there are no other components other than resistor. So, it is a resistive network. What it will do? It will produce the desired amount of loss of a signal. It is going to produce the desired amount of loss of a signal means it is inverse to the amplifiers in operation. What amplifier does? Amplifier increases the amplitude of a signal whereas attenuator it is going to decrease the amplitude of a signal by desired amount. So, in general what is attenuator? Attenuator is a resistive network which is going to produce the desired amount of loss of a signal. And one more thing you should remember here attenuator is not depending on frequency of a signal it is independent of the frequency that you should remember whereas filter was depending on the frequency even resonance circuit there also it was frequency dependent whereas attenuator is independent of frequency. So classification of attenuators are symmetrical attenuator, asymmetrical attenuator, fixed attenuator and variable attenuator you can see. Symmetrical attenuator means attenuator is a resistive network I have told you. So, there will be a source for that circuit, load for that circuit. The impedance at the source that is resistance of the source as well as resistance at the load will be equal if both load impedance, source impedance or load resistance, source resistance are same then that attenuator we call it as a symmetrical attenuator. Asymmetrical is opposite to that. If the source resistance is different from the load resistance or if both the resistances are unequal, if they are not equal, we call that one as a asymmetrical attenuator. Then fixed attenuator. Fixed attenuator means the attenuator circuit which always produces the same amount of loss of a signal. No variation in that, that is fixed. Variable attenuator means here we can get different values of attenuations from this attenuator circuit. So, what actually attenuator is? You will clearly understand when we go to the circuit of attenuator and when we solve the problems on it. So, this is about the attenuators and its classification. So, here again I have uh, uh, explained you like uh, Symmetrical attenuator, asymmetrical attenuator, fixed attenuator and variable attenuator. It provides variable or different amount of attenuation. Fixed means it will provide fixed amount of attenuation. Asymmetrical means source load impedances will be unequal. Symmetrical means source and load impedances will be equal. In the symmetrical there are types like T type, Pi type, bridged type and lattice type and for your syllabus there are only T and pi type symmetrical attenuator we are going to study in the syllabus. These are not there for your syllabus. Only you are studying symmetrical attenuator that to T and pi type. After knowing the classification or a types of the attenuators, now we will move into the units of attenuation. Units of attenuation is attenuation is measured in which unit? Attenuation is measured in which unit that we need to study. So, bell, decibel, neighbor I have written, bell, decibel, neighbor all these are units of attenuation. We will define one by one and we will set up a relationship between one with the other, between these we will set up a relationship. So, I have written here, bell is unit of attenuation, it is basically a ratio of input power to the output power. So, Pi divided by P0 is ratio power, input power, output power logarithm to the base 10 pi divided by p naught is our bell 
log to the base 10 pi divided by p0 is our bell. What is bell? Bell is a unit of attenuation, it is expressed in terms of power ratio. So, pi by p0 where pi is the input power, p0 is the output power. Then decibel as the name suggested, deci, this is bell, this is decibel, decibel is, is one tenth of a bell, decibel is one tenth of a bell. So, which one is larger, bell or decibel? Bell is larger in it, bell is very larger in it, so we will go for decibel in common. So, decibel is also a unit of attenuation, decibel is also a unit of attenuation, but how it is different from bell is, it is a one tenth of bell it is one tenth of bell. So, it is given by decibel is equal to 10 log to the base 10 pi divided by p naught. This is decibel. Here I have written 10 times db is equal to 1 bell. Bell is a larger unit therefore, db is commonly used. And this one, this power can be written in terms of current and resistor. p is equal to i square r, p is equal to i square r. That only I have written i i square r naught i naught square r naught means i square i have square i i square i square here i naught square for p naught it is i naught square for pi it is i i square r naught is source and load impedance where they will get cancelled. So, from this equation we will be getting 20 log to the base 10 i i by i naught this equation can be turned into 20 log to the base 10 i i by i naught you can go for the current ratio or the voltage ratio depending on how you are going to write the powers in terms of currents or voltages. So, this is decibel and this is bell. Next we will see neighbor what is neighbor? Neighbor is used to measure some physical quantities like gain or loss in the electrical circuit. So, it is going to measure the loss in the electrical circuit means it is also nothing but the attenuation. Attenuation is nothing but loss. Attenuation is nothing but loss. Attenuator is the circuit which produces the loss of a signal, desired loss of a signal. So, neighbor is also a unit for measuring the attenuation. It is given by natural logarithm of A by B. I have written here A and B can be any parameters like both may be voltages, both may be currents or both may be powers. Means it is also a ratio of powers only. Next, 1 dB is equal to 8.686 neighbor. The relationship between dB and neighbor is 1 dB is equal to 8.68 times the neighbor. Now, the relationship between decibel and neighbor will set up. This relationship, whatever I have written here, will prove it. That is all. Relationship between decibel and neighbor means first we will divide the decibel by neighbor, then we will divide the neighbor by decibel and we will set the relationship between this and this. Decibel by neighbor, decibel is 20 log to the base 10, A by B I have written, again it may be a current ratio, voltage ratio or power ratio. Ln of A by B, same LP I have written it as Ln of A by B, it may be again A and B may be power ratio, current ratio or voltage ratio. So, from this we will be getting this value 8.686 you can say or 8.68588 dB by neighbor is equal to from this dB is equal to 8.68588 into NP, NP is neighbor which I have written here that only we have approved here. Next relationship is NP divided by dB we will do, NP divided by dB the equation we have written. NP divided by dB, this is dB divided by NP, so this is nothing but reciprocal of this value, that it will be 0 0.1151. So, neighbor will be 0 0.1151 dB. These are the relationship between decibel and neighbor. Neighbor can be written as NP or simply N. In the next video, you will see another relationship between decibel and neighbor that is D is equal to 20 log to the base 10 N. N is neighbor here or you can write this N as NT log of D by 20. These are very important in solving the problems. This relationship between a decibel and N. This D is decibel. N is neighbor here. So, decibel equation we have this. You know already D is equal to 10 log to the base 10 I I by I naught square. And here let the neighbor be, let the neighbor be root of p i by p naught. If you remove the root, n becomes n square. Now, if you compare this one with the previous equation, we can write d is equal to 10 log to the base 10 p i by p naught. 
because 10 log to the base 10 pi by p naught we had as a decimal. Now it is i i by i naught square we can write this. So from this we can get n is equal to i i by i naught. So d is equal to 10 log to the base 10 n square. Here I have substituted the value n square. Next. After this what we are getting take this to this side it becomes 20 log to the base 10 d is equal to 20 log to the base 10 or you can write n is equal to nt log of d by 20. So this is the relationship between decibel and neighbor the first relationship second third and that is what the definitions of bell decibel and neighbor this is a relationship between bell and decibel. So, the relationship between bell, decibel and neighbor is asked in many of the previous question papers. So, it is better to concentrate on the derivations of relationship between these three parameters which are units of attenuation. Thank you.